big kid boy in the building look who we've got today guys 20th anniversary larry bird packs are here they are live and they are well onto the auction house man not too many of the larry birds going right now but i mean hey they're they're up there Let's take a look at the cards that we can review here today. We've got Ray Allen, Robert Parrish, Gordon Hayward at 95. That's awesome to see right there. Have not seen a really high overall of Gordon Hayward at all this year. Glad we got this one today. Then we also have the Larry Legend. I cannot wait to review that card. Oh, and Clive Drexler. I guarantee that card's going to have like a 99 driving and a 99 contact dunk. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to review these cards for you guys. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be ripping packs. I know, I know you guys would love to see me rip open packs, but I got to save up to move in with Xerxes down into Florida. Like, I can't be spending too much money here and there. So 2K is going to have to get put aside when it comes to spending money. But don't worry, I'm still going to see if I can't get some of these cards to do gameplays for you. No need to worry at all, let's get right into these reviews. First up, we've got the Ruby 89 overall Ray Allen. This card is looking like a beast, man. 91 offense, 84 defense. Being that it is more of an offensive card, I am going to be expecting high shooting stats. 83-83 for standing and driving layup. Not really much of a post game there. His shot close is very high. That's a 90. That's awesome for Ray Allen, to be honest. Not really known for scoring at the basket. More or less just shooting from behind the arc. He's got... Ooh, actually. Look at that. Contested shot mid-range is at a 90. Open shot mid-range is at a 91. Off dribble shot mid-range is at an 87. I feel like those could be a bit higher. But seeing that it's only a ruby, these are very high stats. 94 94 for a contested shot and open shot three that is awesome to see from ray allen guys off dribble however is only a 92 which i think that's fair to be honest most of his shots really were just feet planted to the ground and you take a basic jumper that's wide open free throw is a 90 standing and driving contact dunks are pretty much non-existent his passing is pretty good, actually. He's got ball control at an 86. Passing vision is very low. Passing IQ, however, jumps right back up to an 82. And his accuracy is a 79. Defense, no... Like, if you catch a block with Ray Allen, you should be thanking 2K. That's a, that's a 37 block. Shot contest and steal, however, are 78 and 80. Those are looking decent. Rebounding is non-existent as well. Rebounding, or <laughs> athleticism... Speed is an 80, speed with balls is 79, acceleration is an 80, and vertical is also an 80. So, eh, you know, other than shooting the open jumpers, I don't really see this card doing too much. I mean, his pass perceptions an 80, defensive consistency is an 80. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, his offensive consistency, oh, wow, excuse me, his offensive consistency is a 90, but, yeah, his reaction time is only a 78. If you do happen to use this card, I would only use it really on triple threat, just because it'd be a lot easier to get your rip, like to get your man open. It's a lot easier on triple threat than anything. Grades from a man, Ray Allen, Mr. Shuttlesworth. He's got inside scoring at B, mid range is at an A, three point scoring is an A plus, playmaking is a B is or oh man, I, I can't talk today. B plus for playmaking and perimeter defense. Post defense is a D. Rebounding is a D plus. Athleticism is a B plus. And then basketball. Wow. Basketball IQ, potential, and overall are all A's. He's got four gold, one Hall of Fame, and they are all shooting badges, man. He's got catch and shoot for Hall of Fame, corner specialist, mid range dead eye, limitless range, and deep range dead eye are all of his gold badges. This card, eh looking pretty damn good for a ruby to be honest with you after ray allen we have the amethyst 91 overall robert parish he's a big man so i don't really expect much shooting from him 91 offense 89 defense standing at seven foot he has a decent height standing layup and driving layup are 97 and 85 he's got amazing post game though look at that 95 post fade 95 post hook Post control is a 96 as well. Damn. Draw foul is a 78. I feel like that could be a bit higher considering he is a big man. 
Shot close is a 95. Contested shot and open shot mid range are very high as well. 94, 95 there. Off dribble shot mid range drops down to a 78. And then if you dare shoot behind the arc with this card, he is not going to be making that shot too often. Free throw is only a 70, which that that sucks. Standing, driving, and contact dunks looking very good. Standing is a 95, driving is an 85, and contact dunk is an 80. Passing, non-existent. Defense, block is at an 88, shot contest is at a 95, and then steal is very low, just at a 58. Rebounding, very good actually. 90 for box L, offensive rebound is an 88, and then defensive rebound is also an 89. Please excuse my laptop, guys. I forgot to turn off the sound. Athleticism is a... Er, wow, okay. Speed is only at a 60. I feel like that could be a bit better, to be honest. Speed with ball is a 29. Acceleration is a 58. And vertical is only a 59. Like, this card's got his feet planted to the ground, man. I, it, He's not getting up in the air anytime soon. But he does have pretty elite mental attributes. Pass perception being at only a 73 and reaction time being only at an 81 other than that man this card this card's gonna get you some stops for real checking out the grades he's got inside scoring and mid-range both at a pluses three point scoring however is a f <laughs> it's just straight up an f playmaking is a d perimeter defense is a b plus that's that's pretty nice to see from a big man post defense and rebounding are both a plus as well Athleticism is a C, and then basketball IQ, potential, and overall are all A's. Look at his, oh man, look at his badges. He's got 13 altogether, 2 Hall of Fame, 11 gold, pick and roller, pick and popper for his Hall of Fame badges, brick wall, bruiser, mid-range deadeye, rim protector, defensive stopper, hustle rebounder, lob city finisher, frag starter, up and under specialist, post bin technician, and drop stepper. If you feel like playing with this card, definitely try to run some post game maybe a few pick and rolls here and there i wouldn't really try to go for uh anything behind the arc obviously but he can shoot the mid-range so uh, i mean if you wanted to you could after robert Parrish, we have the diamond 95 overall probably my favorite card from this drop is gonna be gordon hayward man we finally have a high rated gordon hayward in the game 98 offense 91 defense man i i'm excited standing and driving layup are both going to be a 96 not really much of a post game there but he has a draw foul of 95 man and looking down all i see is 90s oh my gosh draw foul 95 shot close 94 as well as contested shot mid-range open shot mid-range is a 95 and then it drops back down to a 94 for off dribble shot mid-range his three ball is looking very nice contested off dribble both 92 open shot three is a 93 free throw is a 95 man that's what i like to see uh it's not really much of a stand and dunk kind of guy he's got a driving dunk however of an 85 and then a contact dunk of 70 so if you really wanted to body somebody i wouldn't be expecting you to body like a four or a five with especially rim protector and uh what, what's the what's it called lockdown defender yeah like you wouldn't be dunking on any of them but i could see you dunking on like a smaller forward or some of the guards in the game passing he's got very good passing actually ball controls at an 86 vision is at an 88 passing iq is an 84 and then passing accuracy is an 85 defense eh, if you catch a block with this card tank 2k it's a 65 Shot contest is a 90, however, and then steal is also an 85. Rebounding is a good rebounder, not too bad. Box out at a 79, offensive rebound at a 78, defensive rebound at an 80. Athleticism, speed is an 89, which is very nice. Speed with ball is an 87, acceleration is an 88, then vertical is an 85. Scrolling down to the metal attributes there, he's got pass perception at an 89, defensive consistency is a 90, and then offensive consistency is a 95, man. That's awesome. But I do have one that or excuse me, I do have one vice with this card. I wish his reaction timing was a bit higher. Maybe at like an 85, I would have considered this the best card to get for the best price jumping right over to the grades he's got inside mid-range and three-point scoring all at a pluses playmaking is also an a perimeter defense is an a plus 
Post defense is only a C minus, but it doesn't really matter. Rebounding is an A minus. Athleticism, basketball IQ, both A's. Potential and overall are both A pluses. Now, if you take a look over here at the badges, man, these are great badges to have for a three. Hall of Fame, he's got four of them. Catch and shoot, tireless score, mid-range deadeye, and difficult shots. He's got 14 gold badges to go along with those. Deep range deadeye, limitless range, one-man fast break, chase down artist, pick and popper, pick pocket, corner specialist, pick dodger, posterizer, defensive stopper, acrobat, lob city passer, relentless finisher, and pick and roll maestro, guys. If you don't already have this card, I suggest picking it up as soon as possible. There are a few buy nows on the auction house. Consider getting this card for maybe like, I'd say somewhere close to 80k. I wouldn't pay too much for this card just because I see the price and value dropping soon. But definitely keep your eye out for Gordon Hayward. Now we move on to the main course, man. Larry Legendary, Pink Diamond, 97 overall, 20th anniversary, Larry Bird, guys. He is here, and he is making a huge statement. 99 offense, 98 defense. This card's shooting attributes are going to be very, very high. Standing and driving are both going to be 94 for his layup. Post fadeaway is a 96. That is awesome to see. Post hook and post control are both at 90. Draw foul is a 92. That is that's good like that's very good shot close is a 98 his mid-range is unbelievable guys 97 all across the board then he's got 97 contested and open shot three off dribble shot three however drops down only two so his off dribble shot three is a 95 that is like steph curry but six foot nine free throws a 96 standing dunk is an 80 driving dunk is an 80 and then contact dunk is a 75 Passing attributes, he's got ball control at an 86, passing vision at an 80, passing IQ at an 82, and then passing accuracy at an 80 as well. Defense, he's got pretty great defensive attributes. Holy crap, man. Block is an 85, shot contest is a 95, and then steal is a 95. This is awesome to see from a card like this. Rebounding, he's got 88 box out, 89 offensive rebound, and 80, or no, actually 90 defensive rebound athleticism speed at an 88 speed with ball at an 85 acceleration is also an 88 and then he's got an 80 vertical man Whew, I, I i love this card this card is awesome dude pass perception at 95 makes this card very cheesy i would love to get my hands on larry bird defensive consistency is at a 90 offensive consistency is at a 98 wow man his lowest one is hands but that doesn't even matter Look at his reaction time. 95? Are you kidding? Oh my god. This this is the best card. Like, this is the best card. That, probably not my favorite because of Gordon Hayward, but this is the best card, guys. Sliding over to the grades. He's got inside, mid-range, and three-point scoring are all A+. Playmaking is an A-. minus. Perimeter defense is an A+. Post defense is an A. Rebounding is an A+. Athleticism is an A. And then you got A-pluses for all three of these basketball iq potential and overall jumping right over to the badges he's got 25 in total man 12 hall of fame 13 gold defensive stopper corner specialist mid-range dead eye flashy passer deep range dead eye limitless range relentless finisher difficult shots pick and popper acrobat catch and shoot and tireless scorer whoo i'm running out of breath he has just so many badges dude 13 gold badges to go along with those Chase down artist, pick pocket, pick dodger, charge card, hustle rebounder, put back king, dimer, postman technician, drop stepper, up and under specialist, lob city passer, break starter, and pick and roll maestro. Like I said, this might not be my favorite card that dropped today, but this is by far the best card that dropped today. Now it's time for dessert. We have the Pink Diamond 98 overall, Clyde the Glide Drexler, man. Look at this card. Holy crap. 99 offense, 99 defense. Standing at six foot seven, he is not a short guard by any means. He's actually fairly tall for a guard. I believe he is James Harden's height, one inch taller than Michael Jordan and Kobe. So that's this is a very good card. 98, 98 for standing and driving layups. He's got a decent post fadeaway at an 87. Not really much post game other than that, though. 
Draw follows at a 97, shot close is a 97. He's got very high mid-range scoring at 96 all across the board. Contested shot three is at an 87. Open shot three is an 88. Off dribble shot three goes right back to an 87. He's got a 90 for free throw. 79 for standing dunk. Driving dunk is at a 98. Contact dunk is at a 97. That is amazing to see from Clyde the Glide there. Passing, he's got ball control at an 87. Vision is at a 75. IQ is at an 87. And then his accuracy is at an 82. Defense is looking very high, to be honest. I didn't really expect him to have an 80 block, a 95 shot contest, or a 95 steal. But he's got all of those. Rebounding, eh, he's a decent rebounder. Box out is at a 77. Offensive and defensive are kind of low. Sitting at only a 70 offensive rebound and a 73 defensive. Athleticism, however, we are going to see some high 90s elite tier, like, attributes here, guys. Speed is at a 97. Speed with ball is a 94. Acceleration is a 97, as well as vertical being at a 97. Like, this card is unbelievable. Metal attributes, he's got pass perception at a 92, defensive consistency at a 95, and then offensive consistency is at a 98. Not to mention his reaction timing is a 95 as well. I would love to get my hands on this card, guys. Moving over to the grades, he's got A+, A+, for mid-range and inside scoring. Three-point scoring is only an A, but that is still fairly decent. Playmaking is an A-, minus. perimeter defense is an A+, plus. that is awesome. Post defense is a B-, minus. rebounding is a B+, plus. and then for all four of these, athleticism, basketball IQ, potential, and overall, those are all A+. Pluses. Oh, wow, okay. I thought that he would have a couple more badges but larry legendary is the center of this pack so he only has 21 bad like like that's not a lot of badges to begin with though 21 badges for clyde the glide 10 hall of fame 11 gold one man fast break pick and roll maestro mid-range dead eye relentless finisher acrobat difficult shots poserizer lob city finisher tireless scorer catch and shoot all for his hall of fame badges now his gold badges are pretty defensive honestly like he, he, this man's no joke if you're trying to clamp somebody up he'll get the job done chase down artist pick pocket pick dodger charge card defensive stopper teardropper put back king lob city passer ankle breaker break starter and corner specialist all for clyde the glide so i have to say that the number one card that i would be aiming for just for the price and like the overall of the card i would still aim for gordon hayward like if you can get a cheap buy it now get gordon hayward man that card can do just about everything you need him to but i'm afraid that's all the time i've got and that's all the cards i've got for this video guys be sure to leave a like comment down below who you plan on getting how much you bought them for i would love to know that way i can share your stories on twitter or if you want i can absolutely get one of these cards for you uh, I don't mind doing a gameplay, I, but I do need, you know, I need to know what cards I gotta get. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel today, and as always, smash that bell button to receive all notifications on my newest uploads. That's gonna do it for me today, guys, and I will see all of you in my next video.